Hello Autodesk people, my name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm a solutions engineer based out of Portland, Oregon, and the video you're about to see is General Contractor Data Collaboration Series Part 3 using the Appearance Profiler. So picking up from where we left off in the last video, what I've done is I've installed, I've downloaded and installed the uh, Navisworks Manage um, Subscription Advantage Pack. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag my file onto my shortcut for Navisworks Manage to open my file. So now that I have my file open, let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, you know what? I want to show you where that Appearance Profiler tool is installed. So if you observe up in the, uh, the ribbons here, we've got a new add-ins ribbon that's been placed here. And if you simply go to that add-ins ribbon, you'll be able to find the, uh, the Appearance Profiler tool. And, uh, and here it is. Now I want to do a little bit of Windows management here so we can see both the Appearance Profiler simultaneously as the Navisworks file. Now that I have my windows managed here, I want to show you a couple of neat little tricks about how Navisworks works and how we're going to leverage the appearance profiler. So here I'm going to select a pipe and I'm going to go look at my element and um, I don't know, something like my system type. Now if you right click on the system type, you got these different values that you can, you can do. Specifically, you want to be able to copy the value. We're going to use this tool over and over with the appearance profiler. So getting back to our Appearance Profiler dialog box here, I, I want to show you a couple of tricks. Um, if you take a look at the category inside the Appearance Profiler, uh, I want to show you that this category actually refers to the tabs that you see up in the properties. These are also categories. So specifically, I want to be able to type in element. And then the property, the property refers to all the different listings that are within this category, such as the system type. Right? So we have element, we have property, and then here's the test. When we test, we want it to equal this particular property value, right? So the property value in this case would be uh, supply, hydronic supply. Alright, let's start to fill this out. Now, I'm going to use the copy value and uh, I'm, for the category, I know it's element. I'm just going to type that in. For the property that I'm looking for, I know it's system type, so I'm going to type that in. Here's where I'll use the paste command. I'll give this a color um, of red. I'll add this to my list. And then I'm going to run this. And as soon as I hit run, it'll go red. I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of my systems. All right, so now that I'm finished with adding all of the different profiles that I want, I know what you might be thinking is, do I have to do that for every single one of my Navisworks files? That's going to be a pain in the neck. Well, you don't have to. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this appearance profile that I've just created onto my network somewhere, and I'll just give it a file name here. Uh, let's see. Let me change the file name a little bit more. So I'll save this file onto my desktop or wherever you want to put it. You can go ahead and save it. And um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how we can leverage this over and over on our other uh, projects. Okay, so um, now that I've got this file uh, color-coded the way I wanted and the appearance profiler saved on my desktop, 
I'm going to go ahead and open up another project that was done with Revit MEP also. Now this one, we haven't done anything with the color coding yet, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we can do with this. Alright, let's zoom in to uh, our systems here. And this is a fairly incomplete model, so this might be typical of what you guys do is maybe you want to see it in Navisworks a little early. But now I'm going to go ahead and load my appearance profiler. I'm going to load that file that I just created. And uh, you'll see that my list gets populated. All I have to do is hit run. And that fast, you can very quickly go through and color code all your other subsequent projects. So guys, these are just some of the ways that you can use it. Um, by the system type. I mean, if it has a property, you can go ahead and schedule and color code any way you want. Again, these are only some of the ways that you can use it. I'm sure some of you guys are going to find some very clever ways to color code this stuff. So use it wisely. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala, and the video you just saw is General Contractor Data Collaboration Series Part 3 Using the Navisworks Appearance Profiler.